Welcome to the ZRAM YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. In this video, I want to show you how the Z extension affects the HDR50 without other tuning. That is without a modified pin and without a power kit. How the two parts affect the HDR50 in combination with the Z extension, we already had a video about that. I'll link it in the info box above. But today, I just want to show you what is the use of Z extension. The first thing we're going to do on the HDR50 is to remove the valves and restrictor so the gun is just plain open. Without doing that, the extension makes no sense because the extension ensures that you have a larger chamber or more space in the chamber. And that wouldn't make any sense with the block in here since this reduces the space. And so of course the first step is to remove this and also remove the valve here, of course depending on the version. Then we will do a shooting test, once with the HDR50, as I said, open, without these two valves, and with the standard barrel, just as it is, and then I install the Z extension. Then let's have a look at that again with the Z extension. As a next step, put the tuning barrel in and see how the Z extension basically works only with the tuning barrel. And in the next step we then convert to HP, the tank here with the up to 2000 PSI regulator and with the HPA adapter. With this one you no longer need the Mamba hose and you can basically connect the bottle directly to the adapter and then directly here to the HDR50. With this HP set we will then also install the sniper extension for this tuning barrel. And then look at the whole thing again and see what kind of results we get. I'm going to shoot with the Z50 projectiles, you already know them. And this time I'm going to make the opening back here for the Z extension with the grinder here. I've already shown you in a video how you can do this with a standard file, and I'll link it to you as well. But this time I'll do it with the grinder, it's faster, but I'll also show you briefly. You can buy all these parts that you see here, except for the HDR50 in our shop www.z-ram.net As I said, here is the bottle. Regulator. Adapter. Tuning barrel. Extension. Z extension. Modify pin and power kit. We're not presenting that here in this video, but we also offer it in our shop as well as various other items, also for other markers, so be sure to take a look around. We will of course do all tests with a fresh CO2 capsule. And please take into account that it's pretty cold right now, it's 5 degrees here, where I'm at right now I don't have any heating or anything, that means it's pretty cold here. The CO2 capsules are cold, so the results will all be relatively small. You just have to imagine that in relation to each other and then take that into account in your opinion. Of course we're going to document the whole thing with a chronicle. The very first thing I'm going to do is show you how we're going to remove these valves and how we're going to make the hole for the Z extension with the grinder. So. That would be the HDR 57.5 Joule version. As most of you know, there is also an 11 Joule version, they differ in the valves here, but I'll show you that again in a moment. And now I want to show you how to remove those two valves, and how to do the hole for the extension here. I've already prepared it a bit, the screws are loosened so that I can show everything faster here in the video. Otherwise the weapon is still unedited and in the standard version of the 7.5 Joules version. I have now loosened the screw here. I take this off. 
Then I am here in the inner workings. And here I first pull out the barrel. I also take out the standard barrel and the spring. Then I can take this part out. And then just this part. Here I also have already loosened the screws, simply loosen all the screws that you can see, and then use a thin screwdriver to pry them open a bit so that you can get to the inner workings. That's what it looks like here. And it's best to take a photo before you continue here, and preferably also a close-up of this spring and this spring and this spring and there's a spring underneath too this fly out quickly and then you don't know how they got in so take a few photos Slowly disassemble everything and remember what went where. Next we're going to take this thing out here. You have to be a bit careful here, because the spring is under pressure here. You can also put that aside. Ideally, everything stays the way it is here, so you don't have to make out for long later. This is the bolt, and the pin is also in here. If you want, you can install the power pin from the power kit here, which will give you additional energy. But in this video, as I said, we're just showing you how the Z extension alone affects the HDR50. You can see how it works in combination with the power kit or with a modify pin in another video that I will link to you. You can also find all parts in our shop. First of all, we don't need this either, let's put it away. Then we have this brass screw back here. We'll loosen them with a pair of thin pliers. But there are also special keys for it. In any case, we now have this thick block in the 7.5 Joule version. Some say restrictor, some say valve block, many different names always the same. And then there's a valve back here, inside here, it's hard to see now, right down here, at about this height, a valve, kind of a round part, but it's only in the 11 joule version. In the 11 joules version you have a valve here. And this block here is a little smaller, almost half the size. But, as I said, it has this valve. In the 7.5 Joule version, this valve is non-existent, but you have a larger block. This part causes the chamber space to be smaller. And this part causes the incoming air to be smaller. And what we're going to do now, we're going to remove the block. And since it's the 7.5 Joules version, there's no valve in there either. And when we've removed the block, we kind of have an open part here. The open state part is constructed the same as the open state part of the 11 joule version. 
So if you're looking to buy an HDR50 and you found one and you're planning to open it all the way up, then it really doesn't matter if you buy the 7.5 joules or the 11 joules version. Please keep in mind that everything I show you here is not allowed in every country and that you have to inform yourself whether you are allowed to implement it in your country. In any case, this is not legal advice, I'm just showing what's possible. In some countries it's allowed or not regulated or forbidden, in other countries it's forbidden, you just have to make sure yourself that you are on the safe side. Exactly, so now we want to remove this block here first. There are little nipples here that hold the block in here. Now we're going to just push the block through here with the screwdriver. This will break these little nipples here on the sides and the block will come out. This means that once you have done this, you can no longer use the block, take that into account. And of course the guarantee is void as soon as you change something here on the marker. As I said, not allowed in certain countries. For this you need a screwdriver that fits through here without pushing it in, so you don't damage this o-ring or damage anything else. It has to come through perfectly here, but still remain relatively stable. Then you put this on the edge like this and hit it with the hammer until the block comes out. This is what the part looks like. It just reduced the space in the chamber, otherwise it didn't do anything. As I said, there is no valve in here, the 11 joule version has a valve in here. Although there are also older 7.5 joule versions, there is still a valve in there, you can then unscrew it with a long screw. It is also included with the corresponding power kit, if you ordered it, it is one of those long screw included. So you can turn the screw into the valve and then just pull it out. or the valve simply has this opening here, the slot for a screwdriver, then you can just put it in and unscrew the valve. In any case, you just make sure that this is all completely open. And screw the Z extension on the back. Anyway, we need to get this back in here now. We'll put the bolt on it. The thing is in here. The spring is stretched. The part is in here. part back in here, around, with the narrow side to the drum. To install the Z extension you don't have to open this up. You just have to open up the plastic casing and mill the hole in here, and that's what we'll do next. 
So, what we're going to do now, we're going to put the part back in here as best we can. Of course it won't slide in because of the extension. Then we'll mark roughly where we need to cut. You may already know that from the other video. So now we can extend these marks we made here so we have this on the other side. And then we have an extension here that is about 16 millimeters wide, has a diameter of about 16 millimeters. Half is 8 millimeters. That means we mark here. And then we have here how high and low and the width of the two opening area. Now here we have the grinder or milling machine, call it what you want. Well, unfortunately I slipped here. Of course that doesn't have to happen to you. It didn't turn out perfect here either. Now here in this position while filming, this is the best result I could achieve. As I said, with the file it became a bit nicer. If you do it a little more carefully and have more time for it, then it will also be a little neater. Take a look at my other video, it's better done there. In any case, we have now adapted the housing. Take off the extension again Turn this cap on here. The Z extension is always delivered with an O-ring. If you should change it more often, turning it in and out, then of course it can break.
We also offer replacement O-rings in our shop. Then you put this part in here. So that this spring comes behind it. That's it. It doesn't look that nice when it's open. It's better with an extension. It's closed. It's all black. And if you make the opening neater than I do, then it looks okay too, in my opinion. It also depends on what you want to achieve with it. In any case, I'll screw the screws in here now, it doesn't necessarily have to be visible on the camera. And in our next video we look at the crony tests. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and visit our shop. You're Daniel from ZRAM.